it's me again, crazy bag lady. It's a good morning. It's raining. Bad lion. Again, it's half past nine. I feel like such a laser bones. So my husband got up and he's gone off to the car car, car auctions with his friend, which he used to go to car auctions years ago. He used to make me go with him and it used to be very boring and very smelly. It smells of like exhaust fumes and stuff and it's very noisy and not the nicest place to go in the world. So he's gone with his friends. I think he was quite excited and it's nice that he's gone to do something that he enjoys. So I'm just pottering about at the minute. So of course I've got to have some breakfast so I can have my blooming antibiotics. I feel I'm a bit doom and gloom at the minute, aren't I? And I keep eating. I seriously need to get back onto my healthy eating. But because my two fits and then because I have to have like food with my antibiotics, I'm just using it as an excuse to munch. So we're very, very busy munching. Anyway, so breakfast this morning. We've got bran plates and blueberries. The course bran plate for my friends. So I need to eat this so that I can have my tablet. Right. Winifred? Dolly? Dolly! It's okay. Dolly. <laughs> So, happy Saturday, everybody. Oh, right. It's 20 past 10. Oh, I feel like a naughty teenager. Although, Ruby's still in bed asleep, so I am actually more awake than a teenager. <laughs> so, weather, like I said before, it's raining. So, morning, me, beautiful Flora, Pat Peggy and everybody, little Bubba, mental health potato, big hugs if you're struggling, honestly, we are all here for each other, don't ever feel you're alone, if you've lost your animal, lost your pet, lost a loved one, you're struggling with anxiety or panic or depression, we are all here for each other, we have such a lovely community and it's so nice to know that you're not alone, so you just have to listen to me waffling on, but it's nice to know in the comment section if you need something, you're here, we have the most lovely subscribers, you should all feel so proud of yourselves that we've built this lovely community and we're all here for each other and it's just so lovely i could hug you all so anyway lovely little freddy my favorite little thing ever um so freddy can do it we can do it don't ever forget that so we'll just sit there a minute freddy all right have a lay down so calendar of the day it's boring it's always boring on a weekend nothing's ever too late you're just on your own timeline it did that say oh god we lost on yeah you're just on your own timeline which we definitely are don't worry be happy you are allowed to change your mind yeah you are and let's turn the radio down take a moment for baby yoda There we go. And I hope lovely Darcy, I hope you're enjoying your baby Yoda, my darling. Right, let's face it, Saturday. Can't believe it's raining. The only thing I can say though, it the garden will really appreciate it. So all the flowers and everything, it'll do the garden a world of good. So I'm just trying to make my bed <laughs> with a little assistance. <laughs> you are funny, aren't you? Me. What will we do without you? We'd be very lonely, wouldn't we? Me. Oh, is that your lonely face? <laughs> hey. Oh, you're beautiful. Where's your paw? Good girl. Oh, you're very clever, aren't you? Very clever girl. Me. Clever girl. Are you helping me make the bed? <laughs> Look at your face. Where's your ears gone? Where's your ears? There they are. Your ears were hiding, weren't they? Me. Where's your ears gone? There they are. <laughs> I could literally talk to her all day. She makes me laugh so much. Really beautiful. Where's your ears? <gasps> there they are. Where's your ears gone? <laughs> Here we are. Can't believe how many pairs of my jeans are too tight. And it's all self-inflicted. I'm blaming the tooth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm blaming the tooth. I'm coming, I know you want to drink. Um, oh dear, yeah. I tried some jeans and I thought, oh, I can't believe how tight they are. It's all self-inflicted. So I've decided from Monday, <laughs> from Monday since Christmas, I've decided from Monday I'm not going to eat any more crap. Um, so I'm going to enjoy myself over the next few two days and then I need to draw a line under it because I'll have no clothes to wear if I don't. So today we've got a little knitted like waistcoat thing. 
got me little bingo wings out, woo! Um, and some jeans on, some jeans that I can breathe in. <laughs> anyway, so we need to wash or empty the dishwasher, and I'm gonna ring my mum for a little chat, bless her. Well, it's five to 12, I've been on the phone to my mum for an hour. Why is it so nice to talk to your mum? <laughs> she says, I better go, she's going to home base to treat herself to a new spade. So apparently my brother broke it a few years ago and she's never replaced it. So she wants a nice stainless steel lightweight spade. And I checked online and they've got some in stock. So she's going off to get herself a new spade. <laughs> Bless her. She's been very busy digging some new shapes in her garden. So next time we go to my mum's, we'll have a look what she's been up to. So I now need to move myself. Me and Dolly are sat here. It's very relaxing. It's very quiet. Look. It's so quiet. <laughs> Right, so it's dinner time. My mouth is absolutely killing. <laughs> it's so painful. So I think the antibiotics can sometimes take up to three days to work. So at the minute, they're just kicking in. So they're not really working. I've not had any painkillers today and I know about it. And it's definitely puffed up on this side. Oh, it's so painful. Anyway, so I'm feeling very, very, very sorry for myself. I could literally just lie on the sofa and watch telly, but I'm not going to. Um, So I thought we'd share a bit wow. of love. So, what makes you feel happy when you're feeling sad? Tell me down below if you want to win this. Um, we bought it when we went to Meadow Hall. I bought two because I bought one to give away as a giveaway prize. Um, and I thought I'd give it away today to spread a little bit of happiness. It's a fake Louis Vuitton key ring, like keychain thing. Um, I got one myself and one to give away. I think they're amazing. They look like a little Louis Vuitton Speedy Alma. Um, they're so cute. I absolutely love them. So it doesn't matter where you are in the world. If you would like to win this, just tell me what cheers you up when you're feeling a bit sad. So I think what cheers me up is my dogs, definitely, because they really make me laugh. Um, obviously, like a new handbag. Well, not new, but pre-loved handbag, uh, a new jumper, lots of little things. Um, but definitely, I think my dogs really do make me laugh. They cheer me up no end. So what cheers you up when you're feeling a little bit sad? Love my picture. I love my picture so much. I don't actually know where to put it, but I absolutely love it. It matches my kitchen perfectly. Um, but it also looks really cool in the hall. So... It points the right direction in my hall. Then I think, so do I put it in my hall or do I put it in here? I don't know, but I love it. Right, nearly dinner time. We're off to the bin. <laughs> Does it get any more exciting? On a Saturday morning, go into the bin. Probably not. Dinner. So, dinner today, we've got a cheese cob. Uh, it's got like cheese melted on it with cheese and bacon in it and a cup of coffee and a little bit for my friends off to enjoy it oh that was so juicy so delicious and so tasty oh lovely and the sun's trying to come out and my husband's on his way back and he's also messaged me and said i'm really hungry <laughs> so i'm guessing he'll be wanting one of these when he comes back right so ladies can't believe i'm sharing this with you because it's just so nice right i expect a cheese for you my lovely old lady Dolly, go find it. And Winifred. Delicious. Don't walk away from it. <laughs> Eat it quick. Wait before your friends come back. Have you got it? Oh, lovely. It's ever so juicy. You get those cheese cob things from Tesco and they're absolutely delicious. They're, like a they're a bit like a sea vetter, I think. So nice. I don't know if Winnie was in there first and Florence climbed in or whether Florence was in there and Winnie climbed in. I don't think Florence's legs are good enough for her to climb out bed. So she's stuck. <laughs> Two in the bed and the little one said, roll over, roll over. Are you stuck? Oh dear. <laughs> you stuck, aren't you? I need to bathe her face, plus her eyes are all gunky. Mm -hmm. Do you need your eyes bathing? Hey, do you need your eyes bathing, little grandma? They're all watching me. Do you know why they're watching me? Because I've had a yoghurt. <laughs> they're not watching me because they love me. Here, have a bit of yoghurt then. Have a bit of yoghurt and then plan your escape. How are you going to get out of the bed when your legs aren't good enough? Hey, how are you going to get out? Something dolly. How are you going to get out of the bed, Florence? Is Winifred in the way? 
but you're trying to give Winnie some, Winnie just moves away. This is like, no. Uh, it's Florence's turn. Florence, here we go. How are you going to get out of the bed? How are you going to get out of the bed? Oh, quick, she chance to escape. Look, <laughs> quick. Oh, no, you've lost your chance to escape. This could be quite interesting. You might be sat here for some time. <laughs> oh, no, Winnie's getting comfy. <laughs> Drop the paper off. I'm being hit with a pheasant. <laughs> um, I forgot to say as well, I've sold my white car, so I've sold Bert. He's not going till Monday. My husband sold it for me because me and Bert kind of fell out because he broke down a couple of times and it really put me off him. Although he's an absolutely beautiful car, um, I just, it put me off him. I think it does once cars let you down, you sort of feel. Pfft. So although I had him fixed and stuff, it was always at the back of my mind that it was gonna let me down again. Um, so that's why I can now look at a red one. Yay! But I'm so disappointed about the person because I was really excited to go and look at it and it was within my price range and I was like, oh, really excited. And then obviously and now, well, we can't go and look at it because she's saving it for the person that wants to come on Monday, which she was only a young girl, I think. And obviously she'd not had much experience with selling cars because when you're selling cars, it's always better to let everybody come and it's the first person that pays that gets the car. Um, obviously my husband deals in cars and over the years people will say oh yeah we'll come tomorrow and they don't turn up and you know and you think and we were genuine buyers and you think and she's saving it for someone that might not even turn up on monday i'm so annoyed that we set off as well it's such a waste of time why didn't she just say no right from the start but to let us get halfway there or near enough halfway there and then say no we were just about to get on the motorway if we'd gone on if we'd have actually got on the motorway my husband would have flipped so luckily we didn't get on the motorway Anyway, so it's back to the drawing board, back to looking on Auto Trader and see if there's anything else out there, but it's such a shame. Uh, anyway, so let's make ourselves a coffee. Ah, coffee. And a little treat. I'm not sure what these are like, but they look delicious. The biscuit was lovely. Ruby really liked it. Right, so it is 20 to 5, and I feel like I've not achieved anything today, which really annoys me. So I'm going to quickly hoover around. I'm literally just going to do like the downstairs a bit. So I need to start tea about five o'clock, but I feel like I'm not really that hungry yet. So I thought well, I need to do something energetic. So I need to do that. Let me show you the fluff. Look, there's so much fluff everywhere. So I thought I'm just gonna have a quick zoom around. <laughs> It's all right, Winnie, for darling. You just sit there, I'll hoover around you. Don't worry. <laughs> So, 
I've done the hoovering. I just had a quick blast round. Um, burgers in the oven. Tonight we've got burgers, cheeseburgers. Oh, delicious. And there's my bag of muck. <laughs> Look, you can't believe how much you get out of your carpets. It's horrible, isn't it? The tea has entered the building. I've only got two burgers and two carbs, but they look ginormous and some toast crisps. So we're hoping James have got like double burgers. I've got two burgers, we've got two burgers, but only one carb. I think I should have just had one carb. Uh, anyway, off to enjoy it. Ooh, my tea was lovely. I'm a bit full. No, that's not yours, is it, darling? Right, Winifred, a bit of cheese on your dinner tonight. Ooh, lovely, there you go. And Dolly, last but not least, go! <laughs> but the sun's out. The sun's got his hat on, how lovely! Hi, ready? There you go! Mm, I'm debating. Do I need to water? It did rain this morning though, didn't it? A bit. It's your baskets that dry out though, rather than, and your pots rather than your actual garden. And I've got all the greasy washing up to sort out. Ugh. Horrible! So, I did my good deed. And I walked my baskets, I thought better, so give them a quick hose down while I avoided Dolly coming outside because she chases the blooming nose pie. Right, my dears, I'm going to love you and leave you. I'm off to have a lovely bath, wash my hair and sit down for a bit on a Saturday night with no drink, no alcohol. <laughs> it's terrible, isn't it? I don't drink anyway, but it's just the fact that when you know you can't drink, you think, oh, it'd be nice to have a glass of wine. <laughs> <laughs> anyway my dear so many thanks for joining me again today i hope you've enjoyed it so if you do enjoy just a genuine bit of real life with its ups and downs and its toothaches and anything else that we get up to then please subscribe to my channel come and find me on instagram as mrs crazy bag lady um my avon's down below it's all down below so i love you and leave you i'll see you tomorrow for sunday bye